Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something in the back of my truck. So, we were due to do a overlanding trip to Sardinia this year but due to Covid it's been cancelled. So what I'm going to do is give me a bit more time to build a set of drawers in here. So I need to measure all up, see what kind of dimensions I can use. But the idea is to have something about this high, two drawers, one either side, and I'm going to make them. I want I want them to be as light as possible, so I can take them in and out if I need, you know, the whole boot space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make them out of this. So this is um, just a one inch tube, 25 mil one inch tube square alley and so I don't have to do any welding I've got these I'll show you these so these will fit inside the end of the tube and you can create uh, different designs with them so um, hopefully I've bought enough oh, I did a, a drawing but it was about a year ago and I can't find the drawing now so <laughs> I'm going to have to wing it a bit <clears throat> Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do a box design here. Um, we have a bit down the middle to give it some strength. Uh, say one jaw here, one jaw there. Um, a bit of overlap possibly here. Although I've got my battery in the way there, so I think that's going to change. My original design was before I had the auxiliary battery fitted. So I'm going to have to change the design a bit. Um, these tie down straps are going to be used to hold it down although they're pretty seized at the moment so I need to free them up um, and on top of this side I'm going to have a fridge slide um, so I have a Dometic fridge which uh, plugs in at the back there um, so we're going to have a fridge slide so it comes out and there may be something underneath the fridge slide like a worktop or something like that like a cutting board as well um, because here this is my door okay so I already have oh, a cooking shelf there so obviously this side is pretty much taken with that so um, let's uh, have a quick design and uh, see how we go Right, I've just quickly knocked up this drawing. So my plan is to have 820 millimeters deep by 1,020 millimeters wide, and that will fit nicely in between the two rear, uh, two rear wheel arches. And it's going to be 200 mil tall. I didn't want it too tall, too tall because obviously you lose a lot of boot space. Um, so 200 mil, 200 mil is about there. Looking at the boot space, compare that on the wheel arch. Okay, um, and what we're going to do, we're going to have a piece of wood in the middle here. A, that will strengthen it up, um, and B, uh, give me something to bolt the um, draw slides to, and probably the same on the outside as well. And then I can use lightweight wood on the back. Um, top have some wood and some fabric just to make it look nice and the same on the door fronts um, because I've got the this is a five seater but I do have the rear air compressor in there for the rear rear aircon so I've kind of limited a bit of room there so what I'm going to do I'm just going to have a, a finishing piece in here which will just slot down and on this side, um, I'm probably going to put some, some kind of shelf above the battery. Uh, probably move this. And here I can probably put like a water camera or something like that. Uh, I do have a, a 12 volt water boiler stroke T urn to go in here somewhere. Not quite sure where yet. Definitely on this side, really. 
maybe something that swings swings out from here. I don't know. <clears throat> right, so let's gonna go and cut some metal. Right, I've cut all the alley now, uh, put the front lower one together, so I did to put a four-way one on the bottom and the top of the front because then I can put a filler panel in here to make it look a bit nicer. So that one's done. Uh, these are the uprights, they're going to be sat like that. Um, and they're like that. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy up the garage because there is metal everywhere. built now. Took a while to square it all up. Just need to take loads of measurements, a bit of banging and uh, it will soon square up. So you can see my floor is level here. So, it's bang on. So this is the front with the extra bits. Front to put, to put some blanks here to make it look a bit nicer. And again on this side. So let me put it in the truck seat.
done a corner to corner measurement and the same that way and they're identical so that proves that it's nice and square <clears throat> so that's the end of part one part two we'll um, get some wooden sides in here and the draw runners on I need to order the draw runners now I know the size I need and then um, then we can build the drawers itself, the top and the fancy bits on the side. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Discovery 2 videos.